you are absolutely destined for greatness. I just want to say that right out the box. You are destined for greatness. But whatever it is that you're working on, what your goals, your desires, your ambitions are, particularly if it involves some kind of entrepreneurial kind of endeavor, you are on point and you are headed in the right direction and it is going to be outrageously successful. How do I know that? The lovers, some kind of significant relationship, okay? It's a significant relationship. Page of Pentacles, there is a manifestation of a new opportunity that creates this relationship, okay? The Ten of Pentacles, it is going to bring a lot of security, a lot of prosperity, and it's going to be, in, it's going to enable you to build the kind of future that you want to build for yourself. Ace of Pentacles, this relationship brings an opportunity for brand new prosperity and the high priestess, so be it. Hey, it Taurus, it's Dana, the gypsy psychic. What's up? How's everybody doing? How's a bold tribe hanging these days? How's it shaking? How's it smoking? How's it looking for you, Taurus? We're going to throw down, buckle up, pull up a chair, put your feet up, get nice and cozy, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Pop in the earbuds, throw it up on a big screen if you want to, but we are about to throw down for Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading may or may not resonate with you. I personally am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. And I look forward to this just as much as you guys do. So it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle, I'm going to pray, I'm going to lay out at least... 15 cards because one plus five is six. Six is the number of communication. And that's what I'm aiming for here. Anyway, I'm gonna lay out 15 cards and uh, I'm gonna confuse the heck out of you. Okay. I'm gonna confuse the heck out of you from the time I cut the cards until the time I go back and read your story for you. You're going to be like, what the f is she talking about? But just bear with me. All right. Bear with me. Try to pay attention and we will go to the story. All right. If it gets too long or in depth, I will fast forward that section of the video. We'll pick up right where we leave off. Okay. All right. Y'all buckle up. Here we go. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Spirit and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus and what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to look out for? What does Taurus need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top, Spirit. What is it that Taurus needs to know and understand? Right there. All right, let's go. One, two, Three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords, all tied up in the head for some reason, Taurus. Interesting. All right, first card out. I can't do it like that for y'all, but I can do it like this. First card out is the lovers. Um, some kind of significant relationship, justice, some kind of truth, fairness, honesty, the Three of Swords in reverse, some kind of forgiveness, acceptance, coming to terms with something, the seven of swords, betrayal, deception, um, futility, the nine of pentacles, independent, self-sufficient, on your own, the fool in reverse, foolish, reckless, naive, judgment in reverse, self-doubt, deciding to not decide, bad decision, the nine of cups in the middle of your reading, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, the five of pentacles, 
uh, left out in the cold or some kind of financial issue. The Three of Cups, joy, celebration. This star in reverse, this is not purposeful or, or a lack of spiritual attachment. The Four of Wands in reverse, possibly a transition, possibly the lack of peace and contentment. The Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of success. To the Princess of Cups, some kind of emotional creation. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, some kind of loss. Look at this flip-flop here. The King of Cups to the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, Temperance in reverse. There we go. The World and the King of Pentacles. Looky there. The Ace of Cups to the Devil in reverse. When you release your limiting beliefs. What else we got good that's coming here? Anything? Nope. All right. We're going to stop with that. All right, you guys. Let's see what these cards mean. What does all this mean? What does it mean? I think I'm going to use these little bitty rider weights right here. I kind of like these little guys. All right. A couple of things you need to know about me. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I am going to try to make it all the way through this reading without being inappropriate because I don't want to have to edit this video. <laughs> <laughs> for real. So I'm going to try to make it all the way through without saying something that I later look at and go, oh my God, you cannot say that. <laughs> so anywho, I have a propensity to be inappropriate and um, I swear I do. I swear. I'm probably going to wound your ego if you have a big one. So be prepared for that. Buckle up there, partner, because that will probably happen. So let's see what is happening for Taurus. So, oh, and if any of that makes you uncomfortable, please just go home. All right. The lovers. What's up with that? What's up with the lovers? Ooh, the high priestess. Gonna know it when you know it. Know it already. Tell me about one more about the lovers and justice and the high priestess. We have three major arcana coming out at the same time. Look to the page of pentacles, the manifestation of some kind of new sense of well-being in your life, Taurus, in regards to some kind of significant relationship. Boom, ten of pentacles on top of that. Oh my gosh, I can't, you guys saw that in the camera, right? I can't make this up. To the ace of pentacles. Wow. Justice. Tell me about justice, please. Tell me about justice, please. Tell me about justice. Well, it's truth, honesty, fairness. It's always in your best interest. It is um, your accountability for your journey. Look at there, death in reverse, a transformation, a personal transformation. Oh, this is your justice for a personal transformation. Three of swords in reverse, coming to terms, four of pentacles, pulling it all together. What about this seven of swords right here? What is this about? Remember, I told you I was going to confuse you. Um, got the wheel of fortune. So the seven of swords, betrayal, deception to the wheel of fortune. Spirit, what's the root of the seven of swords? An injustice. An injustice to the King of Cups in reverse. So that's the root of the Seven of Swords. The in, injustice. Put it right there so I can remind myself. I'm sorry, you guys. There we go. So the King of Cups in reverse, injustice in reverse. So I got gotcha. you. Turning point. Um, and the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Tell me, please. The Nine of Pentacles. To the Eight of Pentacles and the freaking Chariot. I shit you not. Oh my God, this is beautiful, Taurus, beautiful. So what's happening down here? What's all of this right here and this and this and this and this and this? So what we got standing out here is the Nine of Cups and the Princess of Cups. And there is a story that is going to take us from here to here and ultimately here with all of the details in between. All right. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's going on. So, 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 you 
are absolutely destined for greatness. I just want to say that right out the box. You are destined for greatness. Okay. Whatever it is that you are working on, and I'm not talking about a relationship, but whatever it is that you're working on, what your goals, your desires, your ambitions are, particularly if it involves some kind of entrepreneurial kind of endeavor, you are on point and you are headed in the right direction and it is going to be outrageously successful. How do I know that? the lovers, some kind of significant relationship. Okay. It's a significant relationship, a partnership, um, employer. Um, it's significant. Okay. Page of Pentacles. There is a manifestation of a new opportunity that creates this relationship. Okay. The 10 of Pentacles, it is going to bring a lot of security, a lot of prosperity, and it's going to be, in, it's going to enable you to build the kind of future that you want to build for yourself. Ace of Pentacles. This relationship brings an opportunity for brand new prosperity and the high priestess. So be it. Justice. It's in your best interest. Death in reverse, uh, because of a personal transformation. Why is this happening for you? Why is this happening for you? It's upside down. Spirit, tell me, just confirm or deny what it is that I am feeling here with death in reverse. Confirm or deny the high priestess. Absolutely. The three of cups. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. So justice in your best interest, always in your best interest, truth, Honesty, fairness, a decision in your favor, accountability for your journey. Okay. So there is a significant relationship, a divinely orchestrated relationship, mind, I, mind you, that is coming in your direction. Justice says it is in your best interest to engage in this relationship. Death in reverse. Uh, this card is also about resistance. Okay. Resistance to change. Don't be resistant to it. Okay. Um, death in reverse is about a personal transformation. Why is this huge, gigantic, ginormous blessing coming into your life? Because you have been somehow, some way accountable for your spiritual journey. You have done some kind of work inside of yourself that has pointed your free will back towards the path of your spirituality and away from your ego. Okay. You're doing some internal work here with the transformation of death in reverse. Because of this, you are creating your own justice, your own universal justice into your life. The high priestess, let it be. This is your higher power, whatever that is for you in the high priestess twice. They're saying, follow your intuition, follow your guts. This is divinely orchestrated three of cups. You are going to meet this person. You're going to engage with this person. You're going to come across this person that creates this relationship that is going to lead you towards a great deal of success. Why is this all happening? Well, three of swords in reverse, because you've come to terms with grief, sorrow, and pain from your past justice in reverse and injustice that was perpetrated against you king of cups in reverse by some kind of emotional manipulation seven of swords that was betrayal deception lying cheating stealing that's what you are coming to terms with here the four of pentacles says you have pulled yourself together you have come to terms with some significant emotional wounding in your life. Somebody that created or perpetrated an injustice against you or perhaps you against someone else. We can't just think that Taurus is the hero here, okay? To the Wheel of Fortune. This is a gigantic turning point. Perhaps you've paid some karma here and now you're released. But nevertheless, it's a massive turning point. 
the steps of your path from this point forward, if you keep your free will pointed towards your spiritual journey, will divinely orchestrate the steps of your life. The nine of pentacles. Self-sufficient, independent, doing your thing, bossing up all the way around to the eight of pentacles. Working hard, working on yourself, working on some kind of endeavor, working, working, working away, getting better and better and better with everyone that you make. Not, not, not lamenting about the past, just making a new one and making it better than the last one. That is the mentality that is ushering in this gigantic blessing for you. You have shrugged off what has happened to you in the past as non-essential for your future. The chariot says you have put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what needs to be done. And now we can orchestrate your steps and take you where you need to go. Beautiful, Taurus. Absolutely freaking beautiful. The fool in reverse to judgment in reverse. What this is saying, okay, and I'll explain in a second. It's a little convoluted. What this is saying is don't be a fool. Don't be a fool, Taurus. Don't miss out on this new beginning in this new journey that's ahead of you. Do not be a fool. Judgment in reverse. Do not make a bad decision. I'm going to explain. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you do what you always done, you're going to keep getting what you always got. Ten of Swords. Um, ten of Swords. So, okay, I'm going to explain. Okay, Ten of Swords. Uh, pain, betrayal. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Uh, lying, not telling the truth. The Two of Swords at a crossroads. The Page of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Okay, I'm going to explain. Hold on. Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled in the center of your reading. Let's see. I'm coming back to all this, remember. Coming back to all this. Where do I want to get to over here? It's down here. All right. All right. All right. Just to be able to explain this, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. All right. Um, th there is someone from your past coming back into your life. And they are going to be a gigantic stumbling block to this beautiful top row right here. A beautiful, beautiful future, Taurus. But whomever is coming towards you is a stumbling block to that. And that's usually what happens when we are at the precipice of greatness. Um, the other side doesn't want to see us spiritually level up. They don't want us to experience the blessings of, of freely and willingly participating in a spiritual journey. And they will send obstacles into your life to keep you stagnated and distracted. All right. You are on the break of greatness right here because you have come to terms with something from your past. Okay. Don't be a fool. Don't make a bad decision. Don't do what you've always done. Okay. Ten of swords. Um, th this was pain and betrayal before. There was not truth being told before. Two of swords. You are going to be faced with the crossroads. What's the crossroads? Well, being a fool and making a bad decision or manifesting brand new prosperity. Um, and being completely and totally as happy as you could possibly be. Mm -hmm. It's true. So there is a trick coming, spirit, uh, spirit uh, Taurus. There is a setup happening. Yeah, look, the chariot in reverse, right? Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop. Opposition. Don't roll forward in this. Because you're going to be compromising all of this good shit up here. Okay? This thing that's coming into you, which is down here, okay? This thing that's coming into you is vindication, okay? It's Queen of Swords. Somebody is going to speak some truth to you. Five of Swords in reverse. That kind of clears up any kind of resentment that you've been holding on to. 
Queen of Cups. You change the way that you feel about this situation. This information changes the way that you feel about it. Queen of Cups, she knows where someone's coming from. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it acceptable, but she understands. That's why she's Pisces, right? She understands where someone is coming from and why they are the way that they are. And because this person speaks their truth, it's it's forgiveness but it's more of a an understanding forgiveness okay two of wands in reverse you have to understand that you can't build your future on this though okay three of pentacles in reverse there's just as much lack of cooperation this time as there was last time the moon in reverse it's imperative that you come to terms with this internal struggle when this happens to the tower in reverse so you can avert disaster Okay, so this whole thing here says Nine of Cups. This person telling their truth to you brings you a great deal of emotional vindication. It clears up resentment that you've been holding on to. Queen of Cups, it makes you all warm and fuzzy, but your future cannot be built here this time just like it couldn't be built there last time come to the in terms to the internal struggle stop fighting between that which you know to be true in your guts and that which your human nature your flesh wants your flesh wants to partake in this invitation your human nature wants to do it but you know in your guts in your guts it's here twice the high priestess twice you know in your guts that you are on the brink of greatness and this is a distraction to that the tower in reverse avert disaster five of pentacles leave this in the cold lovers in reverse this is not a good thing the six of pentacles in reverse um greed debt materialism the king of wands your pursuit of achievement and success ten of wands will be burdened so this beautiful gigantic ginormous massive future of yours is going to be compromised by your warm fuzzies for someone that fucked you over in the past coming back and apologizing and telling you that they were wrong star in reverse this is not your path this is not your path this is not your purpose to the hierophant in reverse it is time to reevaluate your belief system and cut loose with this person four of wands in reverse there is nothing but but unsettled instability in the future with this person six of cups in reverse you cannot reconcile the past stuck in the past this person's the same person they've always been same person that's why the three of pentacles is in reverse right there right same person they always been six of wands in reverse it will stunt your success to the two of swords in reverse and perhaps you don't even see this coming princess of cups there's the message seven of swords it's 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 meant to stop you from going over this threshold and stepping into the most beautiful future that i have seen in a long time in a tarot card reading it's filled with betrayal and deception it's going to steal your joy it's going to steal your progress knight of cups but here it comes here it comes Somebody coming to apologize to you. Somebody coming to, to make right what was wrong in the past. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You are going to screw up this Ten of Pentacles right here. You're going to screw it up. You're going to lose this opportunity. Perhaps if you get with this person, you're not going to be in the place that you need to be when you need to be there to meet this other person. Three of swords it's going to be grief and sorrow and pain and the moon you, if you you don't see you don't see clearly what's happening three of cups reuniting with someone 
the tower in reverse, avert disaster, four of cups. No, you cannot handle it. No, you cannot. See, you think you can handle it. Can't see those. See, you think you can handle it, right? And you are stubbornly refusing to accept the information that's coming from the hand of God. They're like, take the fourth cup. In it is everything that's going to bring stability to your emotional processes. And you're like, no, I got this. Spirit says, no, you don't got this. Judgment in reverse. You're going to have a propensity to make a bad decision in this situation. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It is a waste of your time, and it's going to be a financial setback for you. Ace of Swords. See the gravity of the situation. See the truth of the situation. See the truth of this person. Two of Wands in reverse. Your future cannot be built here. Justice, what's in your best interest, Nine of Pentacles, is to remain self-sufficient and independent. Mm -hmm. King of Cups, this person that's coming at you, love bombing you. Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's meant to put you off balance so you don't move into this future. By the powers that be, it's all spiritual warfare. Kid you not. And when you are headed in the direction of enlightenment and awakening and you are dedicating your free will to following every single direction that spirit points you in, it's going to lead you to your best and highest good. And then you're going to be of service on this planet, service to humanity. No matter what your skill set is, it can be used all over the place in a bazillion different ways. But if you're set loose, if you're set loose, the, you become a threat to the other side. They can't afford to have you set loose. They can't afford to have you understand what the bounty and blessing is of following your spiritual growth in the positive. They can't risk that. So guess who's coming back? Four of Pentacles in reverse, protect yourself. Temperance in reverse, don't be unbalanced in this situation. Your pursuit of achievement and success, success, victory, success, two of cups in reverse. This is not the relationship for it. Strength, be strong and overcome this situation, the world. So this cycle will close out of your life. So this cycle will close out of your life and this cycle can be your brand new chapter. This cycle is supposed to be your new story, not this cycle. The King of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups. Maybe this significant relationship, this person that you're going to meet, this place that you're supposed to be at a certain time, um, perhaps this is a love relationship that is somehow going to very much financially benefit you. Maybe you guys get into a business partnership and then you fall in love. Uh-huh. That could be a very, very serious thing here. Perhaps you do business with someone in your entrepreneurial endeavors or just maybe even at the office and the two of you get together. And then you're like, you know what? Screw this company. Let's start our own company. Mm -hmm. Something like that, man. King of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups. Taurus, King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. King of Pentacles being a domestic partner to the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. Devil in reverse, but you got to re release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Well, this idiot over here. Those are your limiting beliefs. Death in reverse. Stick to your personal transformation. Keep following your intuition. Ace of Cups in reverse because this Two of Cups in reverse is not worth it. The Hangman in reverse, it will only cause delays and stalling in the grand scheme of things. And the Six of Swords in reverse. Don't be stuck in the mental baggage of whatever it is that's going to be talked about, presented, whatever it is. Don't go back to the past. Your future is super, super freaking awesome, Taurus. Awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep focusing on your spiritual growth. Keep listening to your intuition. Be aware of signs and synchronicities around you. And spirit will lead you to exactly where you need to be, exactly when you need to be there.
And that was your reading, my friends. I hope that helped someone. Hey, if you want your own cards read, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. Remember, that is the only way to know your true story, okay? Namaste.